Welcome back guys, and here we are with the Tender May, the super strange and completely weird looking Russian attack aircraft that you could unlock in the, the mission marathon that's going on at the moment. And normally, yeah, I, I was grinding pretty much most of the grinds uh, until now in War Thunder, but recently I stepped back a bit and go for all the things. And was not I'm not very interested in the tank part this time, so only doing the planes and well, doing some of the missions every other day. It's pretty doable. So I thought, yeah, this this thing looks fun and it looks unusual, something new, and that's why I decided to write for it. Overall, it seems to be well an average attack aircraft. Let's put it that way. Not very good uh, like in tank battles, I assume of, well, it only has two 100 kilogram bombs, so you're not gonna kill a lot of this. Uh, it has a bomb bay, which is very unusual at this uh, battle rating in 2.0, uh, and <laughs> only housing two 100 kilogram bombs. Uh, because of this bad bomb load, I most of the time I try to use it as a troll fighter. And that's what I'm trying to do in this battle as well. What I'm a bit shocked about is the abysmal roll rate, roll rate of this plane. I thought because of the uh, pretty short wingspan it would roll quite well. But uh, in reality that's not the case. It rolls worse than an SU-2. The overall maneuverability, even with this huge elevator, is atrocious. Um, there are, you cannot really uh, turn fight against anything. It has good, good guns though. Those four machine guns, I think, all know that uh, those 7.62s machine guns, they are pretty strong. They can definitely inflict some heavy damage to the <laughs> to the uh, biplanes and uh, well, not very robust aircraft single deckers that are 1.0 to 2.0. Uh, here you can see I am struggling to get the nose around, just not able to. Here comes the part where the machine gun yeah, comes into play. Sadly, in the replay, it's completely bugged. The bullets don't go where I really aim it. I hit the engine of the CR-42, uh, so he's not able to uh, follow me, and he gets picked up by a friendly fighter. So we have slight engine damage. Retreat a bit. Tested out the machine gun if it's still working after the reloading because I overheated it a bit. Uh, but I think, as you can see, it's not a fast plane. Definitely not. And it feels very, very heavy in all the maneuvers you do. It, it's not nimble with the elevator, the roll rate is also not that good. So, only go for this plane if you don't have it already. <laughs> if, yeah, if you're a collector like me, or if you like troll planes, because this is pretty much a troll aircraft. Uh, you spawn at a thousand meters, attack a spawn. And that's enough at this low PR to be above some of the fighters because a lot of them uh, don't bother to climb at all, just go for their low uh, targets. And that's where this plane can shine. I'm pretty sure you can 
if you have an enemy team that just doesn't bother to climb, it is a bit silly. Yeah, the, the guns are good, as you could see. Uh, knocking out planes uh, with, with the front machine guns is pretty easy, and it's very effective. Uh, yeah, but if you have enemies that are actually using their fighters as they are, are capable of doing it, uh, then yeah, you're done, pretty much. Uh, so yeah, you can get good kill games. I'm thinking. Pretty sure you can get a 4 or 5 kill match in this, uh, but only only if the team allows it. The enemy team, I should say, not your team. And yeah, the 488 kilometers an hour, when will you actually get to over 4000 meters with this plane? I don't see it happen at any time. <laughs> Uh, th this turn time, I cannot believe it. Uh, it because compared to other planes that are rated with uh, a certain turn time, yeah, that's not comparable. Comparing this to an SU-2, I would rather pick the SU-2. Uh, it's stated with a 25 second turn time and can carry heavier bombs, but I'm sure I assure you that the SU-2 is the more effective <laughs> uh, yeah, aircraft in most situations. The only advantage of this, of course, is you don't have an elevator behind the machine gun. So if the enemies are uh, nice enough to not shoot at you and uh, stay in the center behind your aircraft, then yeah, you can shoot something down with your back turret, which is good. But overall, I cannot really understand why this plane is so heavy, even though it looks very tiny. So, I hope this gave you a good overview of the Tam de May, one of the funniest planes in the game. And if you are interested in, uh, in getting some of uh, these collector planes, yeah, go for it. You can get some funny matches of the, of the, this. I'm pretty sure. I will test it out in an SB at some point. Uh, but in RB it already showed that you can do damage to the enemy, but uh, don't expect high things from it. So That's it. Bye guys.